I've Decided presents The Journey. Along the journey to your success, there are many great adventures and great insights. You can learn from it all. Hosted by Michelle Bohm and Regan Ward. Tune in the first week of every month and be encouraged by guests who will share their success stories and their challenges. Good morning. Hello, I've Decided Community. I am Michelle Bohm, and this is The Journey. I'm here today with my friend and co-host, Jeannie Quick. How are you doing today, Jeannie? I'm doing great, and we have rain, thank goodness. Yeah, I, you know, I get a little gloomy sometimes when the weather's gloomy, but we needed it, so this I'm okay with it. This is a great time to curl up with a book. That's true. That's my favorite thing to do. Yes. So I got that to look forward to. Um, so we are here on the journey today, and we are talking about our weekly winning word, which is integrity. Now, integrity is one of those words that I feel like has a lot of meanings, you know, when I think when somebody says you um, you act with integrity, it means something to you, and it means something different to me. It's a deep word. It is a deep word. There's a lot of it's complex. Yes, I guess. But uh, in reading my weekly winning resource, if you're not getting it, it comes out on Sunday nights in your email. I always look forward to it every Sunday night. I'm open up my email and see what Kim has to say about our weekly winning word. Now remember, it only comes in your email if you're a member. Oh, that's true. Yes. So, so if you got to be a member, if you are not getting your weekly win- winning weekly winning resource, <laughs> if you're not getting that, it might be because you're not an I've decided member. So we got to fix that problem. Yes. Go to I've decided.org and become a member so that you can get these resources as well, because I certainly do look forward to it. But I was excited when I saw that our word was integrity and read the definition as basically being doing what you say you're going to do. Right. So I think before we start this show today, we need to do what we said we were going to do on our last The Journey show. Yeah. So last month we were talking, what was it we were talking about? I was distracted. <laughs> Get well, it? you had a challenge and everything. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, what was your two challenges that you were going to do? I was going to eliminate distractions. Um, first, I was going to give myself time limits to do things because right. I learned that if I say that I want to do this by the end of the day, it takes me all day. Right. Um, so I have done that. But I've only done it with little things. Like, I haven't done it with big projects because I like to um, work on things as I feel the energy. Like, if I feel creative, I want to work on creative stuff. If I'm feeling super laser focused, I want to work on those kind of tasks that I need, those kind of things. Um, so in order to do what I said I was going to do, I, bro- I would uh, give myself time limits on small tasks. Like, okay, in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to answer all these emails. Right. And then... In this next 15 minutes, I'm going to make these three phone calls. And that was fantastic for me. It made a huge difference. So I'm really glad that I kept up with that. How would you do about saying no to things? I did do better than I normally do because it was fresh in my head. Okay. And then because I knew I was going to have to report back to you. <laughs> uh, but I did do better. So there were things that, um, you know, I, I love to be on every webinar about everything, listen to every podcast, read every book. But in the last month or last three weeks, since we saw each other last, I have read two books that were only on the subject that I am working on. Very good. And so I was pretty proud of myself. I ordered other books, but I haven't read them. Okay. (laughs) How about you? How did you do? Uh, One of the things was I was not going to schedule anything before 10 or 11. Doesn't mean I'm not doing stuff. And uh, I did pretty good. In fact, I didn't even uh, schedule anything before noon. And that. Oh, okay. So I kind of went overboard on that. But I did get a lot more done, you know, like in the morning. Because you had that focus time. Right. And then also staying focused, like what I was working on, because I've broken things down to kind of five major things. So if I was doing uh, Optimus stuff, mm-hmm. you know, then I would stay focused with that until I got it caught up or as much as I could or whatever. And of course, real estate is an everyday thing. So yeah. I, every day I have to focus yeah. on that. But um, yeah, for the most part, I, you know, but, um, you know, we ha- uh, asked last month if we could hear from some of our viewers yeah. and that, and we did get our one. Our friend Colleen McLinden. 
did. She messaged us. Yes, and it was very nice how she starts her day and how her routine is. So if you are interested in finding out more about her routine, you know, just contact us and we will yeah. hook you up with her or we'll send her... Um, she has yes, the best yeah. advice. Yes. I feel like she, now we're going to talk about Colleen, like she's not here. So she's watching. We're, yeah. you know, we're pretending Hopefully you're here, Colleen. Yeah. <laughs> um, but she has the best advice. Right. And she was talking about priming your brain and, you know, your, your morning routine, how that is so critical to avoiding distractions. So she's a wealth of knowledge there. Yeah. I hope I can be more like her in that routine and we want to hear from more of yes. you guys you know any of this you know the in you know uh integrity this month and that you know but you know um reach out to us yes, let us know, know what so you we, think share so your ideas maybe mention you next month right right um so let's let's talk about this this month or this week's win- winning word integrity a little bit more because we have we like you said. There's a lot of definitions. Mm-hmm. I know you you always refer to Re- Webster whenever you're looking for a definition. Yeah, what Webster says. What's he and say? This is what he says. It's the state of being complete or whole, uprightness, virtue, honest, soundness, unimpaired or unbroken state of anything. Okay, now that means that's a lot of deep. different, that's very deep and means a lot of different things to a lot of people, like and, we said. And maybe you need to take each one of these words that are in here and maybe dissect each one of those. Yeah. Because yeah. that might have, you like doing that. You like to go deeper and deeper and everything. I do, so I do. And maybe then, that's your challenge. Maybe I need to do that. <laughs> but then I also like to say, to be able to point to things. Um, I'm better with actions than words. Like I really dig deep to try to understand the meaning of the word, but but what makes the connection in my brain is okay. Now, what does that look like in real life? So I under if I understand what integrity means, what the word means, that's great. But what does it look like? How do I demonstrate that in my daily life? Okay, honesty. Take one of yeah, those words. So how does that look in your daily life? Honesty. So honesty looks like saying what I mean. And what is what I know to be true mm-hmm. when um, when required. So, you know, th- sometimes it's hard to give feedback to people because you don't have, uh, you know that it might upset them or it might be difficult Too to honest. hear. Yeah, so I, I always try and find a kind way to do that. But it's more um, important to me to to be strong enough to give that honest feedback instead of just saying what, I think people want to hear. So that's honesty so to me. What do you think of uh, explaining state of being complete? So mm-hmm. how does that? I think it's that feeling of peace when I know that my actions Very good. are aligned with my values. I'm congruent because when I feel out of whack, it's usually because I'm doing something that is that contradicts what I really believe, what my values are. That's when I feel just out of alignment, basically. I know that I'm not congruent with my values. Um, so to me, that's like that whole feeling, even though it may not be perfect and wonderful exactly as it is, it's aligned with what I really believe. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in the resource, uh, in the weekly winning resource, there was a little maybe simpler definition that integrity is choosing courage over comfort. Do you ever choose courage over comfort? I know you choose courage over comfort all the time. <laughs> yeah. um, don't think I've yeah. ever comfort. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there is a comfort zone yeah. anymore. No. Yeah, so, you, but but demonstrating that courage might be having those hard conversations when it'd be a lot easier to just not say anything. Or avoid people. Yeah. Or avoid a conversation or whatever. Right. So sometimes we can't avoid. We have to be courageous enough to step out there and okay. say, okay, this, you know, yeah. don't kill the messenger sort right. of thing, you right. know, but, you know, um, and be honest. Yeah. With it. And, and that, you know, when I, when I do have to do that, when I have to have a hard conversation with somebody I love, usually mm-hmm. it's because I know their values, I know their heart, and they're doing something that I believe is contradictory. Mm-hmm. And so I have to point that out to him. And I don't like doing that. It's not fun. But I know that it's a way that I can demonstrate integrity to them by saying, look, I know 
what you want and this isn't it. Um, I had to have that conversation with my kids this week because like all of us, I mean, I'm under a lot of stress. We're all under stress. And I've been a little bit more snippy lately with the people that I love. And that is absolutely out of alignment with what I want in my life and who I want to be. And um, my son had asked me something and he was, he said something like, if it's not too much trouble. And I was like, why did you say that? Like, why would you say it like that? Can you get me a snack if it's not too much trouble? And he said, well, I didn't know if you were going to bite my head off or not. And I thought, oh, like I had that sinking feeling of I am out of alignment with my values. Yeah. And so I asked them to hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. I asked them to do what I do for other people and be courageous enough to say, mom, I don't think you meant to talk to me like that. I don't think you meant to snap at me and have them call me out on it. And that was tough, but I have to set up that like safety net and, and empower them to say, if I am not living up to my values, you need to tell me. And, you know, sometimes we never know when they're watching. Mm -hmm. And that's where uh, integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Yeah. So, uh, okay, fine. Nobody's watching and everything. But what about when they are? And especially yeah. those little eyes they're because watching. they're looking up. You know, yeah. well, if mom gets away with doing it, I should do it too. Right. If, if I'm snippy with them and then they're like, why are you snippy? And I'm, you know, even more angry because you are, you're, you're still the parent. It's kind of hard to have your kids tell you that you're not doing something right. But, but then they'll, they'll do that to their sibling or, you know, they'll talk back to you and they'll, you know, I just want them to know that if I say kind words matter, then kind words that come out of my mouth matter too. Right. You're setting an example. Yeah. Yeah. So another kid example of demonstrating integrity was, um, so integrity is doing the right thing over what is easy. And I had another uh, uh, situation this week where I was like, this is a point where I can do the right thing or I can do what is easy. I really wanted to do what was easy. Um, my son is doing, Jay, he's doing cross country. I'm so proud of him for doing cross country. Um but he really didn't want to go to practice. It was one day last week when it was 100 degrees outside. And I mean, I don't blame you, kid. I don't want to go run two miles today either. Mm -hmm. um, but we said we were going to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, we made this goal a month ago. And we do what we say we're going to do. Right now, it, the easy thing would be for you to, you know, say you can't go to practice because you don't feel good or g come up with an excuse. But that's the easy thing. And we're not going to do that. Now, the easy thing for me as a parent would have been like, I don't want to listen to my kid whine about going to practice, and so we're not going to do it. Right. But that, that's out of alignment with my values. It's out of alignment with the long-term thing that I want, and I have to act in integrity and say, no, buddy, I don't care if you're going to be mad at me. You're going to practice. Um, it's a tough thing to do, but I'm glad that I did it, and I demonstrated to them that we do what we say we're going to do. We show up when we say we're going to show up. That's, that's integrity to me. Mm-hmm. And probably once he got there, he was fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My dad always says it's it's not getting to school. It's not school that's bad. It's not work that's bad. It's getting there that's the problem, right? Once you're there. Right. You're fine. It's fine. It's yeah. ro dragging yourself out of bed and getting yourself ready. And the whole time you're driving there, you're like, I'm just going to turn around. I'm just going to turn around. But once you get there and you start running. You're fine. That first quarter mile is the hardest. After that, it's downhill from there. <laughs> So, so what about you, Jeannie? Are you, um, what does integrity really mean and how are you demonstrating it in your life? Well, demonstrating it in my life now, I have, um, grandkids. Okay. I, I, I still have to demonstrate it with my kids and everything, but, uh, grandkids. And now I have a new one. Yes. Just Can born, the, uh, two weeks today. So anyway, another little girl. So three yes. girls and one boy, Madeline Joe. You know. oh, so but um, anyway, um, setting examples for them. I mm -hmm. think sometimes that's hard, you know, especially when your grandma, you're not around yeah. as much or whatever like that. So I want to spoil them a little bit. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I have to still be on guard that they're looking up to me. Yeah. And also, I want to see what kind of legacy I'm leaving for them. So when they're talking to their kids or they're talking to someone else, they can say, well, when my grandma said that she was going to do it, she was there. She was there. She yeah. showed up for me. She took me here. She did that. You know, 
let's face it, I get tired, you yeah. know, and it's like, oh, you know, I don't want to do this or whatever like that. But sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do. Yeah. My daughter and I did have this discussion, I think just yesterday, that sometimes we don't want to go a place that we, you know, I'd rather stay home or I wouldn't mm-hmm. want to do that or um, even a visitation or something oh, like yeah. that. You didn't know the person that well, but then you feel like this is the right thing to do. Yeah. This is what I need to do and everything. I don't want to go. Right. But it's like you have to put your big curl panties on and go I do say. it. Yeah. You yep. just do it, you know, but again, you feel better that you've done it. Yeah. But then also too, you never know who's watching. That's true. So, yeah. you know, and, and maybe you could be done dead and gone and they're going to say, I remember when so-and-so did yeah. this. Because so. think about it. You remember the people that showed up for you, don't you? Right. You remember the people and you really remember the people that don't. Yeah, I think you always do the yeah. negatives, but yeah, but yet it, you know, it, goodness trumpets. It, over it sure it. does. Yeah, it sure does. So, so another another way that we can demonstrate integrity is not breaking promises to ourselves. Right. That is, I think. Don't you where, do that all the time? Yes, I do. I yeah, I still do. But I remember I read that a long time ago. Don't break promises to yourself because if you'll break promises to yourself eventually you start breaking them to other people. And I am somebody who, I break promises to myself, like 20 promises before noon. Because but, we think we don't care. Yeah. You know, it doesn't mean to us. It doesn't but. mean anything, but it does. It really does. I would never break promises to other people, but I would break them to myself all the time. And I thought, hmm, that is out of alignment with my values. If I care about myself and love myself, then I shouldn't break promises to myself either. So if I say I'm going to get my butt out of bed and run in the morning, I'm going to do it. Or just don't say it. <laughs> That's the other option. I think breaking promises is kind of goes with rewards too, mm. you know, because you've done a good job or something and you reward yourself. Okay. Yeah. But then you say, oh, I, I'm not going to do that or whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like a promise. It is a promise. Because yeah. you promised yourself, mm-hmm. you know, that you'd get a pedicure or yeah. something like that. And then when you don't do it, then it's like, oh, well, you know, I was going yeah. to or whatever. Right. So, you know, it's a promise. Yeah, I think so. And mm-hmm. I, I think if you're struggling with integrity, if you realize that your words don't match your actions, maybe that's a good place to start. Like start by not breaking promises to yourself. Well, and you know what? Kim says, uh, you know, in this next um, month to evaluate your values. I think so that's really important. And there's um, if you're getting the winning resource, there is um, a values exercise in there with a list of values that you can circle. And if you know exercise. those, like if you know the values, then every decision that you make, you just filter it through those values. Am I, does this align with my values? Yes. Then okay, maybe we should do it. No? Well, then you don't even have to think about it anymore. But even doing that exercise, it – makes us understand we are doing them yeah you know good job pat yourself on the back or reward yourself for that but you know i think you need to do it whether you think you are in line or you're not in line yeah do the exercise and see how many of those i kind of started a little bit you know but it was on my phone this morning Mm -hmm. and that so i'm going to print it out and i'm going to do that exercise so if you're not getting the winning word and you want that exercise and everything go to i decided.org and uh, look for that or make a comment and kim will get it to you you but you know something else really important is coming up september 12th yes i'm excited about that we're gonna definitely i mean i get so much value out of the i've decided conferences i can't believe it's coming up next weekend but it'll it'll be next saturday uh what's that the 12th i think yeah, it's the 12th the 12th and unfortunately it's going to be online on zoom I- but it we got great speakers you know go on i've decided.org sign up you know so then you can be this and hopefully the next big one that's in january yeah. will be all back we'll together be able to be back but together because there is something about the energy in the room yes it's, it's it is. hard to it's hard to do that in zoom uh meetings but you get other benefits out of the zoom like 
I can watch it on my couch or I can, you know, participate. Your jogging clothes on. Yes. <laughs> shoes on. My shoes right. on. Yep. I can have my shoes on ready to rock and roll. Well, I always say that Zoom is like our Hollywood squares. We're yeah, going to do that. Like, <laughs> but yeah. it is nice to still see people yeah. on there. So, you know, um, you need to join us with that because we yeah. have some excellent speakers. Coming yeah, they're up. really, it's, it's going to be a fantastic conference. So next Saturday... September 12th, the I've Decided Conference. Go to ivedecided.org to make sure you get your tickets and get signed up so that you'll be right, ready Saturday morning to uh, enjoy the day with us. With me and Jeannie, you'll be there. Yes. All of our I've Decided friends will be there. Um, gosh, there's, we're more, already- there's more information about joining I've Decided. Yeah. We'd love to have you come with us and be a part of I've Decided. Yeah. yeah. So until then, we hope to see you next Saturday, but uh, I'm Michelle Bohm. This is my friend Jeannie Quick, and we're here for the journey. We'll see you next time. PeoriaLife.com.